Hi guys, just going to show you a short demonstration of our team's Raspberry Pi motion sensor configuration. So I'll start off by uh, showing you the hardware. So you can see here I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi and attached I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi camera module and the uh, PIR sensor. Uh, so you can see uh, I've also got a, a wireless adapter connected and I also have a uh, keyboard connected, just a wireless keyboard connected to the USB ports. Uh, so yeah, you can see here it's just a the regular camera module which you can purchase for the Raspberry Pi connected to the uh, uh, via the ribbon cable. Um, it's just in the uh, extra case that you can purchase with it. We've also got the uh, PIR sensor here which connects to the GPIO uh, pins and you can see it connects, it's got three, three wires. One connects to power, one connects to ground and one is the digital out which connects to pin 7. And so essentially it just uh, uses uh, passive infrared to sense uh, sense movement uh, so you can see that all set up there so now I'll show you the uh, the script which we use to run it okay yeah so you can see here I've got a, a Python script which we use to control both the PIR sensor and the camera module and uh, we've taken this from uh, the raspberrypi.org website which is just a, a basic Python script which just senses, uh, senses motion with the PIR sensor and then uh, records a video and then once it, once it uh, stops, stops detecting motion it'll then stop recording and uh, we've just added in uh, the ability to upload to Dropbox and e send an email notification once uh, it stops sensing motion and so you can see uh, at the top here, it uh, has yeah. Uh, it get your Dropbox key and add it to the top, uh, and that way uh, you can authenticate with the Dropbox servers using this uh, function right here, which just uh, essentially sets up an access token text file. Which you once you've set it up, you don't need to set it up again. Uh, you can see further down here. Down here, you can see that uh, this is the upload uh, function, which uploads. Uh, the file to Dropbox, and so it's just a it authenticates with your uh, access token and then uploads. Uh, so down here is where it actually does all the motion sensing. Uh, so pin seven is the digital out which the uh, PIR sensor uses. And you can see here that uh, we said it's to monitor pin seven uh, just to see when the uh, when it's receiving data. Uh, and so you can see further down here that the script will uh, detect whether or not the data output is high or low, low being no motion detected, high being uh, motion detected. And so you can see here, once it uh, de detects motion and the uh, pin is high, uh, it'll start recording and then eventually it'll save to a file and stop recording once the pin is low and then it will send an email and then uh, upload that file to, to Dropbox. So now I'll do a quick demonstration of running the script. So you see here, script starts, not detecting any motion. You can see there, detected my motion. Now it's stopped recording, now it's stopped sensing motion, it's sending a mail notification. And uh, once it's done that, it will then start uploading that file to Dropbox. And uh, that can take a little while. Cool. You can see it's finished uploading to Dropbox. You can see I've already received, I've already received an email just there, saying the motion's been detected. And then if we take a look at Dropbox, you can see that uh, one second ago we received the video file just there. And that's that's it. Uh, once it senses motion, you can see it. Uh, uploads the file to Dropbox and sends an email notification and so if we end this we can also then use OMX player and view the uh, file we just uploaded as well so we've got the file name up the top there Four, five. And so we want the that one just there. So we play that back. So you can see there, there's movement. And that's it. 
that's the uh, that's our team's Raspberry Pi motion activated surveillance system and uh, yeah it uses the PIR sensor and camera module and then uploads uh, the information or the the video file to Dropbox and sends you an email notification thanks for watching